Hi, this is Dan Sullivan. I'd like to welcome you to the Multiplier Mindset Podcast. I was attracted very early to the notion of being your own boss, of having your own business, being an entrepreneur. I didn't know the word back then, but I knew being your own boss because my father was, and my father had grown up as a farm kid, and he had his own farm. He and my mother bought a farm. We had moved from Cleveland, a suburb of Cleveland, to a farm town west of Cleveland called Milan, Ohio, actually quite a historically important town if you look it up in, on Google. And that's where Thomas Edison was born, a very famous little town, and it's quite a remarkable town if you go there today. If you're going across the Ohio Turnpike, there's a very famous intersection. So if you go one way, you go to Cedar Point, and then if you go the other way, you go to a town called Milan, Ohio, which even today only has about 1,300 people with very, very big 19th century houses. And I grew up about two miles from that. But I spent a lot of time with my father when I was a child, and I'm the only one in my family who really did because the next oldest had already started school, and I had about three or four years before I started school, and I just spent all my time with my mother, who I would help out around the house, or my father, and then he would go and buy equipment, and then we'd go to the equipment store, the feed store, the fertilizer store, and frequently I would be able to go with him in the truck to sell the products. Where I really noticed the unusual thing about my father is when I got to school because in talking to the other students, I began to realize that my father really lived a different life from their fathers because their fathers mostly had jobs. A lot of blue collar work then, some office work, but most people were salaried. And my father wasn't, my father was his own boss. And I think I was, totally sold on this at a very young age, that when you grew up, you didn't work for somebody. You actually had your own business. He could make up his days. I mean, he had obviously things that had to be raised and harvested and they had to go to the market. And, you know, farming is tough. And it's chancy too, because so much of it depends upon unpredictable weather, too hot, too dry, too much rain. You could have frost at the wrong time. And if you had greenhouses, one of the worst fears was actually hail, hailstones that could literally take out all the glass. So this was interesting too, that there was other people didn't have this kind of risk related to their income. But the biggest thing about observing my father was what a great salesperson he was and that I think my father could sell anybody on anything. And I really just totally realized that this was a crucial life skill. He was very gregarious, very outgoing, actually much more so than I am. You know, he just had this amazing ability to connect with people. So this was a whole separate world for me, just watching my father. And I don't think that my brothers and sisters ever picked up on what I was seeing. For the most part, they haven't really become their own bosses in the same way that he became and also that I became. And I think it was just because they didn't have the observation time or they weren't interested or whatever the story is. But, you know, having that role model at such a young age and then just having hours and hours of observing the difference of freedom that my father had compared to everyone else just set me out on this path of as soon as I could, as soon as I got out of school, as soon as I got out into the marketplace, I would create my own business and I would be my own boss.